gorgeous people welcome back to my channel so today I will show you how I make my bibingkang malagkit with langka I will be posting the full ingredients on the description box so please don't forget to check it out first we need to wash our bigas or the glutinous rice wash it as normal na pagsaing and then we have to put the coconut milk in a pan and let it boil after a few minutes you can add your pandan leaves and stir after about five minutes you can add the glutinous rice ito na ang simula ng pagjijim nyo charot Kasi kailangan na natin haluin ng haluin ng haluin ito. Continuous steering na siya. Do not stop steering kasi ayaw natin na masunog yung bigas na niluluto natin. So there, ayan may progress na. Medyo parang lugaw na yung sinasaing natin. But it's okay, matutuyo naman yun mamaya. Now, it's time for us to add the jackfruit or the langka. Can you imagine now yung flavor na nabibuild natin? Pandan and then the jackfruit. Ang yummy, diba? Basta just keep on stating. Huwag kayong bibitaw. Now, we'll add the coconut sugar. If you don't have a coconut sugar, you can use a light brown sugar. Actually, this is optional. You can keep it as white lang. White lang yung kakanin and then yung latik yung nasa ibabaw niya. But for me, I want some color dun sa rice. Now, you can see na naging sticky na talaga yung kanin. Um, ituloy lang natin yung pag-steer niya hanggang sa medyo... Um, hindi na siya ganun ka liquidy. Mga 5 minutes pwede na yan. Now, it's time for us to prep the banana leaves. We need to heat the banana leaves before using because banana leaves is a bit um, brittle. So, we need to do this process in order to make it smooth and bendable. Using banana leaf in this Bibingka is totally optional. I'm just using it for authenticity reason. Charot! Maka-authentic naman si ate. Akala mo expert sa paggawa. At sana may bilao, no? Para authentic talaga. Anyway, if you don't have banana leaves, you can just butter your baking tray. Now, we will transfer the sinaing. Shout out to my friend Ronald na taga Bulacan. Siya po talaga ang expert sa paggawa ng bibingka. Ako po ay sadyang nagmamarunang. Based on my name, Maru. Nagmamarunong. Kanyan. To be honest, this is my first time to make this bibingka na malagkit. I have done biko before, pero yung bibingka with the latik, it's my first time. Kasalanan ni Ronald yan eh. Kasi nagpost siya sa Facebook and nagcrave ako. And then, nag-crave din si Buntes. Shout out to Madi. So, force talaga akong gumawa. Now, we will do the latik. So, we will use um, coconut cream for this. Ilagay uli natin siya sa pan. And again, continue stirring. And also, we'll have to put the dark brown sugar. So, ito na uli ang simula ng pag-stir. Wala uling bitawan. Continue steering. Steer lang ng steer. Please, again, do not stop steering. Ito na yung moment na may time kang mag reminisce <laughs> or pagsisihan kung bakit mo naisipan gumawa nito. Charot! Kayo, anong favorite Filipino dessert niyo? Please to comment down below and also, I would love if you can suggest kung ano yung mga um, Filipino desserts or 
kahit hindi Filipino dessert na gusto nyo. So, I can share with you how I make those um, suggestions or requests. So, chance ko na rin pala to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. You know, may report ang YouTube na most of the viewers view na ng view pero hindi pa nakasubscribe. Ang taas ng percentage. So, please, wag na mahiya. Mag-subscribe na. Free lang yan. And promise, once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will give a giveaway. Giveaway ng spoon and fork. Charot! <laughs> There. Fine ni O, diba? Chinika ko lang kayo ng chinika. Medyo malapot na yung latik natin. So, kapag andyan ka na sa stage na yan, ma-excite ka na kasi malapit-lapit na. Matatapos na. Then, now we can pour the latik. Um, yung consistency niya, medyo um, watery pa siya. It's okay. Kasi mamaya, maglulutong naman siya. I mean, maluluto ng maayos. But, if you want na medyo mas um, yung texture mas thick, uh, i-continue mo lang din yung pag-boil and pag-steer. So, usually, ang bibing kang malagkit, medyo thick yung um, latik or yung toppings niya. But, for me, since ako naman ang kakain, ako naman ang gagawa at may choice ako, um, gusto ko kasi thin lang kasi masyado ako natatamisan sa natik. So, as you can see nga kanina, yung rice, nilagyan ko na ng sugar para itong toppings, konti na lang. But, just make sure that you will cover all the rice. So, we just have to spread it out evenly. Now, while doing this step, we have to preheat our oven for 220 degrees Celsius because we need to bake this bibingka for 40 minutes and then later, afternoon, ibubroil natin siya for about 10 to 20 minutes. You might wonder, what is the importance of preheating the oven before baking? Well, it makes a huge difference not in your actual baking but in keeping the temperature stable. So, it is very ideal and it is very important to preheat the oven 10 to 15 minutes before the actual baking so that the temperature of the oven is already stable. So, since iba-iba naman yung oven natin, i-check nyo yung binibake nyo after 30 minutes. And then, kapag nakita nyo ganyan pa si yung toppings niya, hindi pa yan okay. So, keep it for about 10 more minutes or 15 minutes. So, in my case, after 40 minutes of baking, I broiled it for another 15 minutes. I broiled it para lang ma maging medyo toasted yung toppings. So, ayan na siya after broiling. For me, okay na yung ganyan. Yung iba kasi, kapag naging OA yung pag-broil, masyado nang matigas yung toppings. Hindi na masyado pleasing. So now, um, ikakat na natin siya. So for the normal size ng baking pan, it was able to make um, 12 cuts. 12 cuts ng 3 by 2 and a half inches. But, syempre, nasa sa inyo yan kung paano niyo gusto. But, just make sure na medyo nag-cool down na yung bibingka before niyo ikat. And, start in the middle para medyo equal yung pagkat natin. So, again, remind ko lang ha, I am not an expert in making bibingka. But, I made it pretty decent and masarap naman, sabi nila. So, I'm sharing this with you. I hope you like this video and if you do, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please do share this recipe to your family and friends. Also, please don't forget to click on the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. So there, you now have a bibingkang malagkit with langka and trust me guys, Adding the pandan while cooking the rice made a lot of difference. 
So always remember, just cook it. Until my next video, ta-ta!